Mike, we are here in a unique place. What is yeah. this? Well, this is really amazing. This is a rare tree. We are in the uh, on in the cockpit, the flight deck of the Boeing SST, the 2707-300. This is the actual flight deck from that class three mock-up. So this is this is the class three mock-up is is actually building the airplane. This is an actual SST. Uh, it, of course, it never flew. It never got into production. But this is as close as we're going to get to that incredible airplane. And here we are, we see that what's wonderful about this is you can see the innovation that went into the SST. If you notice right away, you can see that the uh, the controls are, are very strange, how the, they're split and they go into the flight deck. And the thinking at the time was allowing the pilots to be able to see these computer displays. And yeah, this is the first time that a flight deck, a commercial flight deck would have had computer LCD displays in it. Just amazing. And, and this at this period we still see a lot of a lot of dials, gauge, steam gauges that uh, the things that are familiar from the very beginning of flight. Uh, very much what you would have seen in the very first 747 but what's amazing in this airplane is seeing these instruments and then here these these instruments that would have been they were computer displays and this is the first time that these were, this was a, a something that, that Boeing really came up with at this time. These were not actually used until Boeing flew the YC-14, which was the first airplane to fly with a computerized flight deck. When and was I, that? When was that? And that was in the mid 70s, late 70s. And later on then, Boeing put this technology into the 767 and the 757. And those airplanes were the first to have the modern flight deck, the glass cockpit. And this technology allowed this and the other tech, and other computer technology allowed the five seven and the six seven allowed the seven five seven and the seven six seven to be the first airplanes to fly with two crew and pioneer that fundamental technology that is still part of aviation today. All right. Start again. Okay. The other thing that really I find interesting is that there's not a lot of view outside the window. There's uh, the pilot. I'm, I'm sitting in the co-pilot seat, of course, but my view is off to the side here. Looking over the top of the instrument panel, there's not a lot to see. And it really brings home why that nose had to had to droop for landing to give a pilot a better, a better view, because there is not much of a view.